My name is Kyle Whistle. You are listening to Whistle Wednesdays here on KCBQ 1170. As always, I'm joined by Jason Hall with Team Home Loans, my trusty co-host here. We've got two-time gold medalist Monique Henderson in studio and her sports psychologist, Dr. Ross Flowers. Dr. Ross, how's it going? Very good. Very happy to be here. Very cool. So you brought a cool product in, and I don't know if you know this, but you brought in some compression socks. So I just got finished running the Rock and Roll Marathon here in San Diego, which was a blast. And um, in our office, everybody kind of saw that we went and ran that. And our whole entire office is talking about getting in running a marathon later this year, including my co-host over here, Mr. Jason Hall. So this man has never ran a marathon in his life. Never in my life. Have you ran a mile? I, I have ran a mile. And, I, and the first time I ran a mile in a while was last Wednesday. So I made a mile barely. All right, and I got to go. Uh, we're doing a half marathon, so 13. I'm trying to like go back down to the half of a half, which is still six miles, right? I know. And I'm a big guy. I'm pushing 235, and uh, I've always was a sprinter, not quite as fast as Monique, but I was always fast. My kids were fast, but I wasn't a long distance runner. I don't know. Let me ask you that, Monique. Were you ever a long distance runner? Did you enjoy it, or you always? Yes, I actually did cross country all throughout high school. I love, this, and that's mostly what I do now is distance running. So have you ever ran a marathon? I've not ran a marathon. But I, but I would, my dream is to run at least a half marathon one day. So are you going to run Rock and Roll Vegas with us? It's in November. It's in, in November. <laughs> this is the cool <laughs> <great day. laughs> And he saved level. I got talked into it just a few weeks ago. Oh, I'm sure. This gentleman I'm here. sure it's way more level than anything we have it to do in San Diego. It is the most awesome race. So check this out. Rock and Roll Vegas, they call it the Strip at Night. They shut the entire strip down in Las oh. Vegas. It starts at, the half marathon starts at like 5.30 p.m. You get to run all the way up and down the Las Vegas Strip, run up and down Fremont Street. It's 100% flat. It's the coolest half marathon I've ever seen. So the first one I ever did, I ran that, and it was cool because you're like, all right, I just need to make it to Mandalay Bay. Okay, mm -hmm. now I've got to make it to Bellagio. Now i got to make it to the wind. It's a cool race. It's got some great obstacles to run to. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of, it's hard to stay focused, right? Like, hey, don't grab a beer real quick. We're going to throw down a hand of blackjack. Like, That's a great challenge for Monique. Oh, 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 Professor Henderson. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. The doctor is putting the challenge in place. This is how it happened. This is how I sucked him in. Right? I was in line at in and out I just drove him home from Vegas. I'm in line at in and out with my comfort food. And Kyle's like, you need to run the marathon. And I'm like going quiet going, I can't run a marathon. So we'd love to have it if you guys want to come out. I mean, that would be a blast. Um, I need some motivation, you know, to get there. Because like I said, I just got the mile. Now, now I, I ran. You're going to do 12.1 more. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and that will definitely help you in your, your comfort and how you're running, but also your rest of your recovery. Okay. Right. So from each, all let's your talk more about this. So, again, I'm joined here by Dr. Ross Flowers, um, and you started this joiner compression company. So, again, I just ran this marathon, and compression socks seem to be, you know, big thing. They're really coming on strong right now. So talk a little bit more about what compression socks are, what they do, the benefits. Should Jason wear them in his race? Should Monique more than one. wear them in her race? <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, we've... we've researched this product for the past three years to come up with, we think, a, a, a high-quality blend that is very, it's a breathable sock as opposed to being one of those thick, heavy compression socks that's hard to get on or may be too thin and may rip. This is a great product. It's very lightweight, um, but it also gives you that medical grade compression to help you increase the blood flow, uh, prevent any swelling, uh, minimize uh, any pain or potential cramping that you may have while you're training or after training. But it's a, so it's a sock you can wear while you're performing. It's also a great sock to wear afterwards to increase that blood flow uh, and, and improve your recovery. It's great. So does it help ease the, the pain afterwards? Or I mean, how does that work? Hopefully there won't be any pain while you're yeah. training. Jason's <laughs> first half marathon, there's going to be some pain. When there's this, already pain. When this big butt gets done with his race, there's going to be some pain in there. So yeah. how, these socks will help him. Absolutely. But, but if there is some pain, yes, this will help minimize the pain and it, improve that blood flow come flowing up and through the heart. Okay. This is what you want when you're recovering. All right, sounds great. And I've seen people wear these like on airplanes and stuff too. So what's, how, why do they do that? It's a, it's a great sock to wear really anytime. Uh, particularly if you're, if you're traveling, because again, it's going to improve that blood flow. Uh, it's also going to improve, like if you're someone who's on your feet all day. So we talk to people who are in hospitals, nurses, doctors, people do presentations throughout the day. Um, as you're going in real estate right calls, around showing yeah, houses. showing houses all the time, you're on your feet. It's a great product to wear. We have a variety of styles. We've got some great colors coming out in the, um, early fall. Uh, 
So it's something you can wear at any time. Very cool. You know you gotta have like the bright pink, right? All oh, the girls absolutely. when they run their marathons, they wear the tutus, they wear all the crazy <laughs> stuff like that. Or have that. a bright pink sleeve coming in, Paul. There you go, Monique. You're gonna have some bright pink sleeves, bright pink <laughs> She's socks. She's quiet now, sudden right? the astro. We're gonna get back on here. Yeah, I'm already, <laughs> I, like, I got my purse. I'm ready to go to the astro marathon. <laughs> <laughs> and if she runs, we're I'm not done. catching it. So. <laughs> Can I get like a three hour head start? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. So what's the farthest you've run, Monique? Um, I've ran nine miles. Nine. So yeah. you can do a half marathon. It's easy. Yeah, it's just, just you know. I tell everybody the hardest it. part <laughs> is committing to it. Right? Exactly. Like actually clicking exactly. that button and paying the hundred bucks or hundred fifty bucks, whatever it is. In my well, opinion, that's the hardest it part. It is because it gets real. It gets real at that point. And once you <laughs> once you actually sign up, then you're like, oh crap, I actually got to train. Like I'm really doing this. Yeah. I mean, it's it's an awesome feeling though. But once you commit, you know, for me personally, I like having a reason to train. Like oh, I can't definitely. just go to the gym for nothing. Like I get bored out of my mind. And yeah. as a psychologist, I'm sure you can attest to that. I mean, for me, I gotta have a reason. So a tough mutter, a Spartan race, a half marathon, something like that. I gotta have a reason to do stuff. I can't just. I don't find going to the gym fun. I know we got AJ Powers <laughs> over here with Whistle Realty. He's gonna come in in a minute. This guy's got arms as big as my waist. This guy goes to the gym like two times a day. But for me, I, I just can't do it. I gotta have a reason, yeah. you know, to do that training. So. Um, again, yeah, this is Kyle Whistle. You're listening to Whistle Wednesdays here on KCBQ, joined by Dr. Ross Flowers. And I know, in addition to you know toning your compression and the awesome stuff you've got going there, you also have a charity and a book. And I mean, you're doing all kinds of stuff as well. So tell me more about that. Yeah, it's been a busy past years. Been pretty busy. Um, really launching joint compression socks, uh, and we we created joint compression socks. Um, myself, Al Joyner, and Chris Johnson, uh, and Moda Kennison is one of our spokesperson along with Al Joyner, uh, so we can have.